with the Floridians out of work for weeks and feeling helpless as they struggle to get help from the state. Within the last hour, the governor made a change to the unemployment application process. And it's the exact part of the process some filers told ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee needed to be fixed. It's top of mind for thousands of Floridians. It's down almost every day. When will the state's unemployment website stop glitching and when will people start getting paid? If you can't get into the site, you can't get your benefits. Georgia Dunnick is beginning to feel forgotten after being furloughed from her job a month ago. She has yet to receive a dime from the state. I have to rely on the mercy of others. I don't want to. I don't want to rely on the mercy of others. I have an obligation. I want to be able to meet it. It's very simple. Folks who have successfully applied for benefits say they are now struggling to request them, leaving so many fearful they'll lose them. The new Florida Department of Economic Opportunity Director says out of the 825,000 applications received since last week, only about 35,000 have been processed. If the goal of the system is to punish people who lose their jobs, which it appears that it is, it's working the way that it was designed. Labor and employment expert Ryan Barrick says even though the state waived the job search requirement for applicants, up until an hour ago, they were told to sign onto the website and write not applicable in order to request them. We found out earlier this week that wasn't working for folks either. So we're unnecessarily creating additional traffic to the website that doesn't work well in the first instance. It's bizarrely stupid. At a time so many other states have been handing out unemployment checks for weeks. I asked the governor uh, and all the people that we elect and trust to get to the bottom of this. In Tampa, Heather Lee, ABC Action News.